Hey guys, welcome to another adventure. Today, we are climbing to the top of a ridge near Hartwell Canyon. And there's gonna be these like seven, like six or seven rock spires along the way, which look really cool from Google Earth. But our first challenge is getting up this Shinobi Hill formation. So we're trying to pick our way through the cliffs. There's always typically a break through these cliffs. Now we have to go up this like slab. Looks like some easy fourth class maybe. Not too bad. We made it to the top of the ridge. It's crazy windy, but now we're on top of the Schnebly Hill sandstone, going over to the six or seven spires. I can't quite remember how many there are. And then we're gonna climb up a peak or ridge. So, still quite a ways to go. There's Bear Mountain right there. These things look like giant sand dunes because they basically are petrified sand dunes, but it's cool because they're like super steep.
It might be hard to tell scale, but this is probably 50 to 100 feet tall. Same with that one, that's maybe 150 feet tall. This thing just keeps looking cooler and cooler. It's crazy. It does look like a huge sand dune. We're traversing around the left side of these pinnacles. You could climb up lots. I climbed up two of them. But that's not our main objective for the day. So we're keep going this way. Quite the view. That's a really cool view of those spires we were at earlier. And then Hartwell Canyon over there. So we've reached this corner where those cliffs are heading straight up the ridge, but we have to traverse around the right onto a ledge and then up a slope over there. We're looking down at Palatki Heritage Site. There's some ancient dwellings in the cliffs there. So that's pretty cool. They probably came up here all the time. In this canyon here where Palatki is, 
is called Red Canyon. And there's a sinkhole down there. And it's called Red Canyon Sinkhole, I believe. We can see it from all the way up here. It's cool looking down at the Schnebly Hill sandstone just 50 feet below us, but right now we're in the Coconino sandstone. You can also see the transition across the canyon over there where it transitions from red to white. One thing about this slope, compared to other stuff I've done in Sedona, is it's quite solid. And that's because this cryptobiotic soil is holding it together. And all this grass is preventing erosion. So you generally want to stay on rock where you can so you don't destroy it. And then this becomes very easy to erode if it gets destroyed. Coming up on the summit ridge here. Topping out on the summit. Whew. On the summit here, there's this cairn. Can't seem to find a register. It might be in here. We'll have to take a better look, but this is it. Actually, it might be that point over there, so we're also gonna hike to that just to make sure, but yeah, it's big drop off down there. Great views. This is Bear Mountain, this whole thing. And then that's like Hartwell Canyon, some buttes, Torweep Tower over there. It's a nice summit. And I'm not sure, I mean obviously people have been here many times before us, but it's a very underrated peak. Like I couldn't find any information online about this. If you've ever hiked to the end of the Bear Mountain Trail, please let me know in the comments.
because you were standing right there looking down on this. And we've hiked just now over to that other peak. It's lower than this, but it was still pretty cool. So uh, yeah, we're gonna head down then. I've wanted to climb that ridge line for a while. It is doable, I saw that on Google Earth, so looks like a cool adventure. I also saw some ancient dwellings down in there, so that would be a fun adventure for next time. I can recommend this hike if you're experienced in off-trailing and bushwhacking. It's actually not that brushy, but you're climbing up some steep slopes, so you want to know what you're doing. You want to be good at route finding, but especially with those sand dune formation, the petrified sand dune things, this is really cool. And then the summit, amazing views, it's a nice day. <sighs> Droning is not allowed here, so sorry for that. But I hope the camera can still show you what this place is like. So thank you for watching, and please let me know what your favorite part was in the comments.